Hey and welcome to this video. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Andy and in today's video lesson I would like to cover the topic of sequencing. So how you can use sequencing with your scale practice to create nice sort of melodic ideas. I'm going to show you three sequences all using the C major scale. There'll be tab and notation across the screen. This is a fantastic way to practice your scales to get some more melodic ideas out of them and these kind of ideas can sort of find their way into your improvising so really good way of you know moving on your scale practice from just sort of playing them up or down. Taking the C major scale so there at fret 8 so C D E F G A B C. When you're sequencing what we're going to do is we're going to play a sequence on every note. So we're going to play a sequence for C, for D, for E, F, G, A and B and then back to C. Now the sequence goes as follows if you're on your note C you're going to play three notes, so C, D, E, and then you're going to go back to C. So C, D, E, C. So it's root, second, third, root. Then you start on D and you do the same thing. So you go D, E, F, D, which is root, second, third, or flat third, root in relation to D. Put it all together and you get this. places you know so forth you do it down and so forth play three notes then back to your start note go to the second note of the scale play three notes one two three back to the second note of the scale then the third note you do it for the fourth note F G, A, B, and C, and so on. You could apply that to any scale. Say if I took an A minor pentatonic. <laughs> Moving on to exercise two. This goes root, third, second, root. So if you're on C, you're gonna go C to E, which is the third, then to the second, which is D, then back to C, which is the root, so. Do the same on D, D, F, E, D, same on E, E, G, F, E, same on F, a little bit quicker, again you could try it with different scales, you could try it ascending, descending, um, so what you have here is the interval of a third as the start of our sequence. And then we go root, third, second, root. Then we move to the second note of the scale, play the same sequence, and so forth. So moving on to exercise three, and we're gonna change things up by not starting on our root. So every sequence has a target note, you know, the first grouping being C, then D, then E, then F, and so on, up the scale. This time we're gonna start on the third of the C. So we're gonna go third, E, C, then second, D, then E, the third again. Then the next group would be F, D, E, F. So it goes like this all the way through the scale. So compared to the lesson I did last week on groupings, these sound a little bit more melodic and again it's just another practice tool for a way for you to practice your scales a little bit differently and I think it definitely feeds, as I said, into improvisation. You could take like say, I don't know, a standard and try and apply the same sequence um, to different scales for each chord, say take, if I took take the, take the A train, take the first sequence we did. <laughs> sort of thing. Either way, I hope you find it a useful way to just another way to approach practicing, practicing your scales to get uh, a little bit more out of them. Scale practice is important and sometimes it can become difficult to know what to do differently, how to shake it up. So, you know, hopefully last week's lesson and today just give you some ideas on ways you could practice your scales a bit differently. 
Well that brings today's video lesson to a close. If you've gained value from it, then please consider hitting the like button. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I do videos like this, lessons, backing tracks, gear demos. I'm sure you'd like it if you've enjoyed today's content. See you again soon.